what you mean? Ay, I like honey, nothing in between. Bad little baby, they got mad overseas. Ay, she wanna go out shopping every week. Finna go, she proud of now, she rockin' double C's. Ay, the way the back came in is like a dream. Lo Fonte, all that fully with a V. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video with me, QB. And man, before we start the video, I want to say thank you to the guys who have subscribed to the channel and the guys that's even going to subscribe to the channel after this video. We finally surpassed a thousand subscribers. I am so grateful for all you guys that hit the subscribe button. I know I've been posting a lot of videos of like sitting down talking to you guys and I love those videos, but I got some content coming to you guys back in the truck, getting to the money, of course, more invading you guys. That's my number one goal. So that's coming real soon. So be on the lookout for that all right so i just see by the title everyone well not everyone a lot of people are selling their box trucks and quitting the box truck industry right as i know i've been saying this for a long time that a lot of people are not going to make it out of the year some people don't want to make it out of the month and i'm here to tell you probably some ways that you could not should not and ways to not be one of those people all right, so let's get into why people are selling their box truck. This is probably the best reasons why there's a lot of behavior or the main reasons why people are selling and getting out the business, right? So the main one is they realize this business is not a get rich quick scheme. What I mean by get rich quick business is that get this industry, you can make money, but the chances of getting rich quick, especially as an owner operator and having one truck, it's, it's not really going to happen. Right, you have to have multiple trucks to really make money in this industry. Even with owning multiple trucks, there's stairs of loss, chance of failure, and then there's more money going into your business when you have a whole bunch of trucks because trucks break down, and there's a little miscellaneous maintenance things you already have to worry about with multiple trucks. So it's even hard to get rich that way. So getting rich quick on this business, I know a lot of people said they're making a whole bunch of money and everything, but this industry is not get rich quick. You will make you will lose a lot of money before you start gaining money in this business because this is a business like i always say that you can generate a lot of income from but it has a stark high 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 startup cost right you're going to spend thousands of dollars just starting a business from just from the jump so it, it's hard like i said you're spending a lot of thousand dollars off the jump and and to be honest, it is what it is. You're going to make money, but you're going to spend a lot of money. And that's just startup costs. You got maintenance, startup costs, breakdowns. A whole lot of going to a lot of money you're spending that you're making. So get rich quick. They notice that like, you can't do it. The next reason is, and this is a big one because I talked about this in one of my um, previous videos as well, is that you guys come in here and y'all don't generally love trucking. And what I mean by y'all don't love trucking is that y'all looking at trucking as just a source of income basically even though you're open on an operator you're looking at as it as a regular job that you just go to you know you can make money and you just go to it but you don't love it if you do not love this industry this job working driving it's not going to be fun for you it's not going to be beneficial to you because at the end of the day you're doing it for a check right you go on you go on these roads for an extended amount of time you're away from family that takes a toll on a lot of people and a lot of people was not ready for it. And a lot of people wasn't told about that as a part of being in trucking is spending time away from family, you know, putting your own to truck and not being around. And it, it eats a lot of people inside mentally that you're not ready for. That's why I tell a lot of guys, they see it's a lot of money to be made, but do you love trucking? Are you interested in trucking? Like, um, like this is very big. If you do not love this industry, do not come out here and be an owner operator. I tell people that do not come out here and be an owner operator off the jump just because you heard the money is good. Go work for somebody, even though even if you have the money to be on your own, go work for somebody for a month or two and see if you really like being in the truck. Do you really like driving a truck? Go do that before you come out here and spend thousands of dollars trying to run a truck that you end up realizing you don't have a passion for. And that leads to my next point. A lot of you guys come out here and you guys have poor um, money management. What I mean by that is that you guys come out here and it's probably your first time starting a business, being in a business, and you guys are not managing your money correct. 
So when you don't manage your money correct, you lose money because you're not knowing what you're doing. You guys don't know your RPMs, don't know how much money you gotta make at the end of the week or even the end of the month to stay in business. Y'all just run loads and just do and just go about your business thinking y'all making money, but you're really losing money. So if you guys are new and want to be profitable from the jump, go check out on dispatching in the description. They'll even help you book loads. Like they'll teach you how to book loads eventually too, if that's what you want to do. So, man, I do these things for y'all to help y'all new owner-rappers in the beginning. So, go check them out if, and book a consultation. They'll walk you through everything. And the last reason I'm going to get into, you, which is kind of big, even though there's more, is you guys, a lot of people let people sell them a dream. What I mean by that is that there's a lot of content creators like myself on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, all over the place who are in the industry. And y'all guys see what they're doing, see that they're making money you know and you some of you guys don't really do your research into a person and basically i see them say you know join the course and they can you make a whole bunch of money but you guys realize that you know buying courses and, and whatnot that puts money in a person's pocket and they don't really have to be in a box right they can tell you everything you want to hear why because at the end of the day you know you you buying their course you put money in their pocket so by them doing that is that they don't necessarily they're not going to tell you guys the truth of what's really going in the market right now as the real people know that's in the market they know everything is kind of messed up right now i'm not gonna lie yeah you can make good money but like a lot of things are messed up so the numbers aren't where they should be right now but they don't tell you that why because it's a money game for them they're trying to get you to buy their course or whatever they're selling so they could make money and a lot of people will see that and y'all buy into it and then when y'all get started y'all realize it's, it's it isn't everything it seemed to be or what you was told and now you know you might go bankrupt or you might have to sell things in order to you know have a little money still left over to you know take care of your family or whatever like a lot of people come over here and use your money you take to care of your family your hard earned money from your family to really come out here and do something for yourself you know start this business and then you realize it's not what you were told and now you know you're stuck you know me as a person i'm here to help you guys not make that mistake anymore but it happened and it's going to continue to happen but man if you are one of the people who you know are trying to jump in and buy a course man just do your research and make sure you know what you're getting yourself into now that we went over why people are selling a truck let's get into what you should do as a new owner operator or if you still looking to get into business because i know me explaining these things probably got some people scared but i'm here to say that don't be scared there's still money to make out here like i'm not going to say just because people other people are selling this stuff you should jump into business you absolutely should if this is something you love and you want to do absolutely jump into business go ahead like i tell people is man you could be profitable but it's ways you have to be profitable because it's hard out here like i said man if you own your own truck and everything your own equipment you could come out here and, and start making decent money but if you know you rent trying to rent or finance finance is not as bad but renting is really hard out here especially on renters because like i said the renter fees are high through the roof right now then you got insurance it's a lot of overhead in renting but there's still money be out here to be made if you're willing to do things that will help you make money right don't get out here and then make money and just spend it recklessly because that's the number one downfall i believe if people get money and not knowing what to do like not doing your taxes or whatnot you got to know what to do with your money because when it comes you got to keep it you got to you got to save more than you spend as people tell me and that's real like trust me save before you spend and also for you guys that don't even have a truck yet this could be a perfect time for you guys you know a lot of people selling their equipment and it's sad to say that they desperately need the money like but there are people who have some decent trucks out there that desperately need the money back for you know fulfilling the business and to be honest if i was a uh, coming in and i knew the market and i knew that people are jumping out the business because they can't really afford to be in it and i see a, a truck for selling on facebook market or Craigslist or whatever me personally i i um write them back and you know low balling from their truck you know a lot of people out here asking 40 grand for their freight line and m2 with 500,000 miles and even though it's not worth that they're asking for an astronomical number because they're trying to get back a lot of money they spent even though they're not gonna get it man like i said but if you see a truck for 25,000 man offer them 19.
<laughs> Not Dota wanted to be in the video, but man, going on marketplace and, and lowball people, man. <laughs> Somebody going budge, like I said, but that's my little video on why people are selling it and why no, as an owner or operator. Look, it's like big, big, uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, air Oreos, but like I said, man. That's why people are selling, and that's how, as an owner or operator coming in, you could probably come on the other side if you're just coming in by buying a, uh, a truck for, and lowballing. But that's in this video. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notification, and stay tuned. I got a video dropping in about two days of helping one of you guys um, get the business started. So, till next time. Say bye. Bye.